winter is here. I know what I must do. What was that? Must just be the wind. Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another Skyrim Meads and Meals. So it's been two weeks since Vlog made that nice mead with juniper berries. So today it is the day to test out that mead and do a little bit of cooking. If you've missed the last few episodes, make sure you check out that playlist. Catch up on any that you have not yet seen. Today what we're going to be making is potato cheddar soup. I think this is going to be pretty good. Seems like a pretty, pretty tasty looking recipe. And so let's get right into making it. Alrighty, so first thing first here, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this small onion. Not my favorite thing in the world, but since it's gonna be cooked and going into this recipe, I don't think it'll be too bad. I don't think you'll get too much of that uh, oniony-ness in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and chop this thing up real small so that way it, uh, it'll kind of disappear when it's simmered and cooked away kind of. Just like so. Uh oh. Eyes are starting to water. It's happening already. Alrighty, so there is some dice up onion. Alright, now over to here, I've got my pan going on medium heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in two tablespoons of butter and melt that. And then we're gonna cook the onions into that. All right, butter melted. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these onions in here, and we're gonna let them cook up until they're uh, until they're soft and fragrant. Yeah, that's what the book says. All right, now over here. I'm going to go ahead and cube up these potatoes. You want to do, uh, it says three or four medium sized potatoes. I'm doing four. I think the more potato, the better. Can't go wrong with a good old potato. Always comes back to potatoes. Potatoes. All right, there you have four cubed potatoes right there, looking real nice. All righty, so now back over here to the onion and butter. I'm going to throw two tablespoons of flour. And we're going to mix that on in. Combine it, it says. Stir until combined. There's not really a whole lot of liquid in here, so it's kind of just... A little bit clumping up with the onion, but you know what? I ain't even worried about it. It's all going into a, a soup, you know? Like, it's all going to be liquefied here, and that seems pretty good. Okay, so next up, I've got here, this is a homemade turkey broth. It's uh, two cups, so that's exactly what I need. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in. There we go. Get that mixed on up. Smelling pretty nice already. And you're just going to keep this on uh, medium heat. And uh, it's chicken, or the broth, whatever kind of broth you're using, and half a cup of milk going on in there. Alright, so now at this point we're going to go ahead and drop these potatoes on in there. We're going to cook these until they're softened. It says about 15 minutes or until they're soft. It might be a little longer since I'm adding more potatoes. We'll see. Now 
Uh, at this point, it also says to turn the heat up a bit, so we're going to turn that up, let that simmer. I'm going to go ahead and throw 15 minutes on the clock here. Alrighty, so here I've got some of this uh, garlic bread that goes good with it also. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this cheese on it, and I got the oven preheating. I'm going to throw that on in there. This stuff's simmering away over here. It's looking real nice. Getting kind of thick. We want them potatoes to get softer, though, I think. A decent bit softer. Doesn't seem like there's enough liquid in this for it. All right, time's up on that, but it's still not quite soft enough, so I think I'm gonna throw like another five minutes on. And now I have to uh, try and get this bread in the oven too, which I think the oven just didn't preheat. All right, I don't know what's going on with the oven. It was preheating and then it wasn't. It's warm in there, so I'm just gonna throw this in and hope for the best. And uh, throw 15 minutes on the clock here. All right, I'm thinking them potatoes are soft enough at this point. We're gonna try it out with a uh, potato masher here. I'm gonna mash these taters on up. Yeah, honestly, at this point, this is more like a mashed potato than anything. Hey, there's that oven preheat. Finally. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just a mashed potato. Now, at this point, half a cup of uh, cheddar cheese going on in. Let's uh, mix that up in there. Cheesy potatoes. It says to put a teaspoon of the storm cloak seasoning in. So we'll throw that in. I may do two. Because it always seems light on this seasoning. So I'm going to do, well, like one, one and a half. We'll up it a little bit. Now for the, the heavy cream. It says half a cup or until you get like the consistency that you want. Not sure uh, if half a cup is going to cut it. Because this is pretty thick. Maybe I did too many potatoes. So maybe we need more heavy cream. Because this is more like a mashed potato. And less like a soup. Yeah, I'm just going to throw in more heavy cream. Try and soupify it a little bit at least. I think more than a soup, what I've made here is some like super creamy mashed potatoes. I think I maybe should have done three instead of four potatoes. That's why I don't like when recipes give you options. It's like, just just tell me three. Because <laughs> you give me the option, I always go more. Alrighty, we got like four minutes on the clock for the garlic bread, but I think it's uh, pretty much done. I'm going to shut this down and pull it on out. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Cheese is melted. It's nice and uh, kind of crispy. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. So that's done. My uh, mashed potatoes here are done. I want to show you what this looks like. It really, I think that three potatoes would have been way better because it really did come out just like uh, mashed potatoes, basically. Super creamy mashed potato. But I'm sure it'll be delicious because yeah, I mean you can't go wrong. It's potato. Some nice taters. Now we have the meat that I racked and chilled. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that's nice. That's got some nice color to it. Nice red color. That's like darker than the black briar. I thought the black briar would be a lot darker, but this one actually came out a lot darker red than that one. It looks nice. This is that mead with juniper berries. Vlod specialty. Vlod made this for us in the last one. Not the last. Was it the last one? No. It was a couple ago. But anyways, there we go. Alrighty, so here we have it. A mead from Skyrim. This is Vlod's mead with juniper berries. Looking real nice. We've got a potato soup. 
Yeah, it was just called potato cheddar soup. Yeah, just called potato cheddar soup. Mine came out a little bit more like mashed potatoes. I think that one extra potato really did it. I think if we would have cut back and just done three, it would have been a little more soupy. This is more mashed potato-like, but I'm sure it'll still be delicious. A little bit of garlic bread. Let's try this out. Dude, that is, that is really good. It's like the, the best mashed potatoes. Honestly, like you just make that as a mashed potato recipe. That's freaking delicious. I'll have to try it again and make it a little soupier, but I really kind of like it as a mashed potato. Some seriously good flavor there. And I think upping the Stormcloak seasoning is a good idea. If you're ever gonna try these, I would recommend that. Kind of like double the amount they tell you to put in. Let's see about this mead with juniper berries. Oh wow, that's very different, different than any of the other, the other ones so far. Like the juniper, when you smell it, the juniper is super overwhelming, but when you taste it, it's like just a light hint, just a light piney hint to it. I don't know, I should have tried like hibiscus tea and yarrow tea before I made this, because I don't know what those are supposed to taste like. So once again, I'm kind of going into it blind, but overall, like the flavors mixed together, that's pretty tasty. You've done it again, B-Log. I really do think the um, hibiscus is one of the main flavors, though. Just because of how red it came out. Like, it's like... I think that that may be one of the um, overpowering kind of flavors in it. Yeah, that's definitely way different than what I was expecting. I was expecting juniper just because it smelled just like straight-up juniper. But that and this... Pretty decent pairing, not gonna lie. Well, once again, like I said, I'm no professional. I just like to eat and drink, so maybe that's why I like them. But they had it right with the garlic bread. Garlic bread with this, that is, that is good stuff. I'm really enjoying this Skyrim cookbook. Like all these foods and meads I'm making are coming out like really nice, really tasty. But anyways, guys, I think that just about cuts it for this episode of Skyrim Meads and Meals. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Helps out a bunch. Much appreciated. If you're not already and you'd like to, hit that subscribe button down below for future content. Turn on those notifications because you're not going to want to miss out. All of that good stuff. Anyways, thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Or you'll see me in the next one. I won't see you unless you drop a comment. Then I'll see the comment. Not, not you. But anyways, see you later. <laughs>